Hi, I'm Aditya. I'm studying biophysics. In this video, I want to share what I do in my lab. But before that, we need to understand what biophysics is and what does a biophysicist studies. Our universe is full of marvels, from black holes to human brain. But for a biophysicist, the phenomenon of life remains in the spotlight. Biophysicists try to decode the physical laws that govern life. We study living cells and their individual components using our fancy instruments. But what exactly are these components of life? You might have seen them in your high school textbook, which something looks like this. But in reality, a living cell is much more intricate and crowded. To understand this better, let's go outside. So if we consider this whole place a living cell, then these people, including me, would be its components. And these big stable structures that you are seeing would be the cell's organelles. There are so many unique components that makes the process of life really, really complicated. To understand the intricate mechanism by which a living cell functions, it's really important to observe just a few molecules at a time. If a scientist tries to study just one molecule, like me, out of so many molecules, it will be really, really hard, as there will be noisy signals from so many molecules. But scientists have invented new techniques to observe one molecule at a time. And they call these single molecule techniques. These can be broadly classified into two categories, fluorescence based and force based. In fluorescence based techniques, scientists put dyes on the molecules and as they shine light on these molecules, they start glowing, allowing scientists to observe molecules one at a time. Whereas in force based techniques, instead of just watching them, scientists can touch and manipulate the molecules. A molecule can be in different states and on applying force, it will react differently, which can reveal some important information about its states and its behavior. So I use one of the force-based techniques using this instrument called atomic force microscope, in short, AFM. But what do I study? Well, I study one of the most interesting molecules of life, proteins. But why proteins? You have probably heard about proteins from gym trainers or food labels. But proteins are much more than just dietary components. In the microscopic realm of life, you will find proteins playing a starring role. For example, take hemoglobin. It transports oxygen and carbon dioxide in our bodies. And like hemoglobin, there are more than 20,000 proteins inside a human body performing different tasks, just like a miniature machines. And if we consider all living species, then this number will reach into the millions. But how can living organisms can make so many different protein molecules? Well, there is a secret recipe to it. If we zoom in a bit in this protein structure, we will find out it is made up of amino acids. And they come in just 20 different flavors. And these 20 amino acids can be linked together in different sequences to create millions of different proteins. Just like with only 26 English letters, you can create a million word story like Harry Potter. But here is where it gets interesting and a bit tricky too. Knowing how a protein will look like after its amino acids get linked, it's a million dollar problem, also known as protein folding problem. Scientists from many different fields are trying to solve this problem. Recently using artificial intelligence tools like Rosetta 2 or AlphaFold 2, Scientists have started getting some structural information of proteins. But picture is still incomplete because proteins are not just static, they are vibrant. They are constantly wiggling around, going from one state to another. That's where tools like AFM comes into play. With AFM tip, I can delicately interact with a single protein molecule, just like a nanoscale puppeteer. I can pull on a single protein molecule to watch it unfold and then releasing the force to watch it refold. As we apply force and release force, we can get a glimpse of different states of a single protein molecule. Through the AFM, I get to witness the fascinating dance of proteins. It's a dance of one of the most interesting molecules of life. And I am on a journey to uncover the mystery of proteins, one molecule at a time.